this is just a quick video to show the new the Connect dashboard which has recently leaked to the internet which can be downloaded from djx.net this is beta 12416 as you can see the dashboard is divided into two parts my xbox and xbox live as you can't sign into xbox live with delete beta all you can see is the usual join xbox live and adverts for various services that are available on Xbox Live such as the game, Marketplace, Avatar, then you've got the video stuff like Netflix and Zoom depending on where you're from. If you just click on them it gives you more information about each one and obviously you have to join Xbox Live to use them. If we go back to my Xbox this looks uh, similar to before it's been updated with a new skin that's the game in the drive there then if you click on here this also looks really similar just with a new style however if you go to customize your avatar this has been improved quite a lot and I'm sure you'll agree it looks a lot nicer than the current dashboard we have everything just looks a lot more polished and giving a fresh look if you will uh, yeah. same uh, free stuff as before We'll give him a hat as it's going to start getting cold here soon in the UK. Anyway, if we exit, we'll have a look at the rest of the dashboard. It's uh, also got some nice new sound effects, as you might have heard then. I like whooshing sound when you click on certain stuff. The game library is much the same. This console has not got a hard drive in, so that's just a game in the DVD drive. Video library, again that, the picture and music library are all the same. Windows Media Center connects as usual. Then here you've got a new uh, setting for family controls which you can have a uh, timed yeah you can uh so you can have like time limits for when you like the kids can go on Xbox Live and stuff like that uh, and other stuff like Xbox Live access yeah, and you can control membership creation and stuff like that and your passcodes that's just uh, generally improved will discard changes as I don't want to enable that then if we go to system settings a lot of this is the same however you will see the connect settings but obviously I don't have a connect unit so I can't really show you this then memory that's pretty much the same just a new skin as always you can see the dashboard version there 12416 most of this is the same as before all the new connect stuff requires an xbox live connection and obviously the connect unit so if you install the leak dashboard this is basically what you'll get however remember you won't be able to connect to um, xbox live until this is officially released if you update early i'll just load the game so you can have a quick look at the in-game guide again this is basically the same it's just got a new skin new theme if you will like the um, xbox dashboard so if we just bring that up there that is pretty much the same you've got your marketplace stuff game stuff you can view your achievements as usual this game is in english despite the japanese text then you've got your media and uh, console settings same as with Aria really. so we'll just click this and that, that's about it really, the new dashboard looks quite sleek, it'll be interesting to use this on Xbox Live when it's released 
So there you go. Enjoy. If you want to download this, you can get it from djx.net.